We are continuing our series of learning how to use WireZX controls from the different Yaesu System Fusion handhelds. This time we are looking at the Yaesu FT2. The FT2 has the most capability of using resources because of its nice graphics interface and the touch screen, as well as the fact that it is the latest in Yaesu's design. It is more complicated, but that doesn't mean you need to use the most complicated features. You can explore it to the degree you wish to use Wires X. You'll notice I'm using only one receiver at a time to simplify things. Let's begin entering the Wires X control command by pressing the Wires X key. As you can see, it toggles information through the repeater to the node. You'll notice here in this occasion, it did what we have to learn with Wires X, and that is that there is no error correction. Those packets went unanswered because they were unable to complete the communications. So let's begin it again. Hold down Wires X. Now we're back to radio mode. Let's press it again, and we once again transmit the packets to control Wires X. This time we get our response. The response from the node shows us a few things. First of all, we see here toward the top that the node is identified by its call sign and information as its location. Below that, at the bottom of the screen, we see a flashing room, Minwis Fusion. It's flashing because it is not currently connected. And it is the last room that was connected, so that's why Minwis is the one that shows up. If it were connected, you would see it would hold steady and would tell you by no number how many nodes are connected in the room. At this point, we'll attempt to make a connection to a room. We'll attempt to keep it in a simple form for the moment. Let's go to search and direct. That would be our next step. Press that entry on the touch screen. And we see that it goes to our next step. Now notice that I have edited two wires categories, C1 and C2. Those are memory spots where you can store your favorite rooms or most often used rooms, and you can categorize them under specific areas. I simply call them local or area, and that gives me an idea of what might be stored there. You don't need to use the wires category, but it is very versatile if you so choose to use it. Now you can see below the categories, we have all and we have search and direct. This is a much more detailed control from what the FT1 offered. And of course the FT70 has none of this available, but it's still effective in what it does. So at this point we can do a direct entry of a room. Push search and direct and we now come to a keypad. The keypad is offering us two things. First of all, ENT for enter allows us to enter a series of letters to do a search. It's quite amazing actually. Let's show a specific word or enter a specific word and see how the ASU Wires X system responds. We're going to enter my own local room, Spark. So we'll press S. Learning to use the keypad takes some practice. I'm going to use the right arrow to move to the next letter, P, because it's the same spot on the pad, and then A, and now to R, and then to C. And I've now entered Spark. So let's press Enter and watch the system respond with a search. Again, it's toggling back and forth information, and quickly it comes up to Spark Room. So that is the room I desired to, to search, and I found it here through the network. And now by simply pressing it, I'm going to be in the Spark room. It shows one now in the room, one single node, and that is me as I'm operating it currently. We'll look at these other features as we go on. Let's back out of that by pressing the back key, and we now come to the original screen with Wires X. Notice again the Wires X node. 
Notice our search or direct entry ability and the current status. This is not flashing, it's constant. Spark room and it shows us one node connected to the room. That's a simple way to do a search and entry for a given room. But let's try something different. Let's say you know the room you wish to enter and you know it by number. So let's enter a room by number. This was quite quick and easy with an FT70. Not so with the FT2, but it's still very capable and you simply need to make the extra steps because of all it can do. This time I want to enter numbers, but the numbers I enter have to be actual room number rather than a directory search. So I need to press ID. ID now sets us up for the room ID, not a word or character search. Let's go into the MinWIS room. I do that by entering 21493 and now enter. As you can see, it shows connected and it shows I'm in the MinWIS Fusion room and there are 32 nodes currently connected on Wires X. So there's a lot of capability. Do you want to do search or do you wish to do a direct entry of the room? By going to the search and direct entry, you can potentially do a word search. Let's do CQ and a Q. And I'm gonna go ahead with enter and let's see what we come up with. All right, a long list of course with the familiar CQ preface. I'm using the, uh, the uh, knob at the top of the radio to scroll through and we have many options available. At the top here, you notice it says 38. There are 38 uh, items that are recalled under that search. You also notice here that as we look at all these options, I'm gonna scroll down toward the bottom. Let's say I wanna go immediately to the top. I'm going to press top and I go right to the top of the list once again. And there it is. So we have CQ Canada, top of the list. So that's letter or word search, very capable. It's a nice feature. You actually don't have to go online to look or research. You can do room name searches like this. All right, so let's back out of that. So we press back. We know if we go into search and direct entry, we can enter names, we can enter room numbers. Remember before you enter a room number to press ID and it will give you the uh, the preface for the room number the prompt if you were all right let's back up by using the back and now I want to do something different in the search process instead of searching based on a prompt I just want to search based on the number of rooms or the largest use of rooms that are available these are the rooms that have the most nodes connected. I can do that very easily by pressing all. Once again, the system responds and it's going to give me a search result. That search result shows me 999 results. The first one begins with all Japan CQ room with 199 nodes. Next is America link with 93 and so on down the list. And you can scroll with the knob to turn through this list because it's the only way to look at each load from the system to see what is listed for you to choose from. Now you notice I scroll back to the top. It's buffering only so much at a time. I wanna take a look at what the continuation of this list is. I press the down arrow. And pressing the down arrow, I now will get the continuation of the list that I couldn't see. And there it is, with 14 nodes in each room and so on, 13. And you can see uh, Alabama link, we continue on, LA repeater. These are familiar different uh, rooms that are, are well known and used. And again, I've run out of that packet uh, load of different search results. Let's say I want to continue on. I press the down arrow 
and it will now respond by giving me the next set of search results. But I quickly wish to go to the beginning of the list. Remember, this is available, top. I press top, and up to the top of the list, we will go once again to the very beginning. And there it is. So that gives you a very effective tool as we look back under our WireZX screen for all to see a search based on activity or to do a search based on a name or to do a room entry for a direct connection. So the FT2 is a very capable piece of equipment for WireZX searching, WireZX control. In regard to what we are looking at here, I mentioned the use of the wires category. You can store in a category that you name uh, whatever rooms you wish to organize. So I've called this local. When I press local, you'll see that up come rooms that I have already chosen to store under what I identify uh, as local rooms. So that way I can instantly touch screen, touch the screen and go right to that room. However, let's go back. Notice I have area, another set of rooms. It just so happens these actually do overlap to some extent. I don't use this a lot, but by way of example, you can see what could be done if you wish to store many different rooms and keep them available under different categories. Those different categories are available for you to edit. I'm going to show you quickly where they can be found. We leave Wires X and we're back in radio mode. And then if we press display, hold it down, go to Wires X and there under category three is edit category tag. And by pressing that, you can edit what you wish to call your categories under Wires X category control. So, very versatile, very capable.